Oh my. <laughs> Oh my God, Becky, this deck is so cute. Oh, I can't wait to show you this deck. This is adorable. I haven't seen all the cards in the deck, but just looking at this little panda and the two or three cards that I saw online, I already know this is going to be cute. <laughs> Let's just see how it performs for us, okay? I'm going to do the introduction, and then I'm going to tell you all about the way of the panda. My name is Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anybody and everybody who might like it too. Um, let's see. Please leave us a positive comment in the comment section. If you would like to get a copy of this deck, I will leave the link where you can get a uh, um, a real copy of it oh, yeah. <laughs> and not one of the ones that you know is one of the fakes that are online please do not buy fake decks please 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 all right so let us see if you would like to get a reading done please email me or hit me up on social media and i will be more than happy to uh give you a reading of your own so, all right, guys, let's take a look at the way of the Panda Tarot. It's still in plastic, so we have to free it from its plastic. I know a lot of you have seen this deck. This is a very popular deck. And I have wanted it for quite some time. Um, it was on my wish list. So today, my wish has come true. This deck was sent to me by the creators... For the purposes of doing an honest review. And that is exactly what we're going to do. This is the front of the box. And I'm going to show you the sides. Pretty. I like that sky blue look. Adorable. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be adorable. It is a sturdy box. Not those tuck boxes. As you open it this way. This is what's on the inside. Beautiful. And here. So, the first thing that's here is a guidebook. And the guidebook is not that big. It's not that small. But it does have spreads. Yes, in the back are the spreads. How to use the wild cards. And it gives you a little blurb for each card. Uh, the, it's not in full color, so the pictures are not here. But it does explain everything that you need to use these cards. So, if you're a beginner, they should not be a problem. Now I'm going to pull the cards out, show you the bottom of this beautiful box. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful box with a beautiful saying on the inside. That's really inspiring. There's plastic on it, so I'm going to cut this plastic. And I'm going to take the first card and show you the backs. Ooh, nice choice for the back. You can use these in an upright and a reverse. This is the front. I'm going to show you the card stock. Not too thick, not too thin. Perfect for shuffling. Awesome. No border. The first thing I noticed was no border. And I can do without the border. It is a standard size. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's the standard size tarot card. So it's not too big. Great for smaller hands. And let's see. The edges are gilded in green. Cool. Cool idea. They feel beautiful. I don't know what the finish is called. Maybe it's called petal or petally or something like that. But they feel beautiful. There's a bit of a shine, as you can see. Not too much. But it's good. I'm going to pull this all the way to you. There you are. Oh, <laughs> Look at the stars in the background. And the panda got his little thingy. He's running away. <laughs> Love it. So, at the bottom of the card, you will see that it is numbered and the name of the card is there. Uh, they are using the Roman numerals, which is fine. The colors are awesome. And it looks like we're following 
different panda bears but they all have a similar you know a look a panda bear is a panda bear so they're going to have a similar look but they so cute they have like little you know adornments on them this one's a mommy <laughs> so it's awesome uh not a rider weight clone but it does have all of the elements of the rider weight um yeah definitely but they're like out in nature, you know, so it's a, a little bit different based on that. But pandas are supposed to be what? Out in nature. <laughs> I love that this one has on glasses. That is so cool. This is a beautiful lover's card. This is a very beautiful, like they said, adorable. This is a soft deck, very gentle. Um, this is the kind of deck you can use with anyone. You can use it with men, with women, with children. You can use it with anybody that you're reading, teenagers, whoever. Um, it's not, it doesn't look so far like there's anything that's really jarring or, or like scary. Um, even the lover's card, you know, was two pandas just kind of standing side by side. Not too, you know, not too provocative. Nobody's naked or anything, even though I love nudity. Uh, for those who are more squeamish with it um, <laughs> or dislike it um, or are triggered by it, you know, they'll they'll like this particular deck because there's not much of that. Uh, the Empress is not pregnant. For everybody who always asks me, is the Empress pregnant? She's not pregnant, but she is a mother. <laughs> this one is a Ferris wheel. The great depiction for the Wheel of Fortune, the Ferris wheel. I love that. These are adorable. They are so cute. Um, this is a feel-good deck. This is the kind of deck that you get when you want to be in a good mood. And like I said, you, you can work with anybody with these. Um, these would also pair nicely with some of the Oracle decks that have a similar vibration. And I just love that it's borderless. I already mentioned that before, but I really love that. I think it was a great choice. I think the white was a great choice, too. Because I was sitting here wondering, like, the color scheme. I think the white was an awesome choice. Now, look at this one, right? This is the devil card. And traditionally, it's a very scary card. And in this one, it is kind of messed up. You know, they got the poor bear, you know, caged up. But it's not as frightening as some of the devil depictions that I've seen. So I like that. That's why I said it seems to be a, a gentler, softer vibration where you do see what's going on. They're not hiding that the tree falling down, <laughs> you know, is clearly on fire. But at the same time, they're not trying to scare the crap out of you either. You get the point without being terrified. So that's good. Oh, look at the star. Wishing on a star. My Aquarius card. The moon. And I also like that even though like some of them have on hats and sunglasses and things like that, they're they're moving like bears. You know, they look like how you would expect bears to be in the wild. For the most part, you know, some of the times, you know, I have a deck called the Bohemian Cat Tarot, I think it's called. And they're all dressed up in outfits and they look like humans, you know. And that's not a bad choice either. But I also love when animals are depicted this way. Now, some people I know can't read animal decks. Um, so if you're somebody who's not into animal decks, I'm not sure if you're going to be feeling that concept. But um, I love it. I think it's really cute. Two of Wands. Oh, he's reading the map. <laughs> that is so cute. Yeah, I think it's so cute. Let me try to get the... Okay. And they're not sticking together, so that's good too. Um, and remember I told you they're a good size for your hand. So, not bad at all. Easy to grab. That was the Four of Wands. Let me show you. A family. Awesome. Aww. 
The use of color in the background in a lot of these is really awesome. I really like that a lot. Seven. I love that the wands are these kind of sticks because I often see pandas with sticks. I think they're bamboo sticks though. I think those are the ones that were on the back. Yeah, the green, yeah, the green looking bamboo sticks. I usually see pandas with these. So I do like the use of the, the wands as sticks. Even though they're a little different. They should have used the bamboo sticks. That would have been cool. I just realized that would have been a cool choice. The choice they got is fine. It's awesome. But I think that um, the bamboo would have just taken it that far. That much further. Look at this knight with this headband on. I can't wear him. The queen has on her crown. And the king has on a crown too. And some jewelry. <laughs> Look at his bling bling. The king has bling bling. Awesome. Yeah, so they're doing things that bears do, but at the same time, you know, they they still have these little cutesy things that they're doing. The little instruments and cups and books and things like that. Uh, this is really a good one. Look at that. Poor guy. It really does fit into the energy of the Three of Swords, though. Four of Swords. The Five. Oh, my goodness. Look how... Oof. Looks like they had a fight. Six. Mm. <laughs> Look at the little boat. <laughs> the Six of Swords often has a boat. And usually the person is in the boat. But in this case, the bear is just watching this little paper boat. That is so cute. If you guys remember correctly in that... Um, what is that movie? Is it called It? Where the little boy is chasing his paper boat. And ends up in the sewer with uh, Pennywise. Not the person you want to end up in a sword with, I tell you that. The swords are very well done. They have the energy, you know, look at this one. It's supposed to be taking a nap, having a nightmare about somebody gripping them. So they have that definite energy of the card, like I said, but it does come off a lot softer to me. The swords is a, is a difficult suit. I mean, like, some of them are okay. Like, the Two of Swords isn't that bad. The Ace of Swords isn't that bad. But some of them, like, Three. Um, the the Five. Uh, the Eight. The Nine. The Ten. Some of the Swords can be really rough. So, that was a good job at softening the vibration without taking away the page. With his glasses. I love when they have on glasses. That is so cute. Now, this is the Queen of Swords. This is a card I always get. So, I love how her and her little cub, they both have on those cool glasses. That's cool. And here's our king. Now, here comes my favorite suit, guys. The cups suit. So, if the cups are done right, then I definitely will take a look at all at the deck. <laughs> that is so cute. I see another depiction of love and they're just kind of sitting together, you know, very sweet. Could be brother and sister, could be husband and wife, could be two best friends. So just that concept of love. But it doesn't have to be romantic love, you know, that's the thing. Sometimes you might be asking a question about, you know, your mom, for example. And if you get that card, you know, you see that energy of giving each other that familiar love family love unlike game of thrones <laughs> if cersei got that card it would have a whole different meaning if you know what my what i mean i don't know if any of you guys watch game of thrones but <laughs> game of thrones and house of dragon has a lot of that family love that takes it too far okay way too far oh i love this this is a card about making decisions. And look at the, the way that the cups are bejeweled. That is really cool. 
The Eight of Cups. Love the butterflies. Excellent choice. The Nine of Cups. He has all the cups and the beautiful flowers. Awesome. Oh, beautiful family card. Look at that. I am so glad I didn't see these before because these choices that they made are perfect. This is a great deck. I would give this deck a 10 out of 10. There's nothing about this deck I would change. And that's strange for me because I've always can think about ways to improve something. But for me, this hits the mark. This checks all my boxes. It really touches my heart. The cups is so cute. The star was adorable. I love that. Look at her. I love the ones with the moms with their babies the most. So yeah, this does it. They have given us a very quality product from the box to the guidebook to the cards to the beautiful finish, that petally finish that's on the cards. And it makes them much easier, as you can see, to be photographed and videotaped. You Normally, I'd have to adjust them, but I don't have to really adjust these at all. No. Three of Pentacles. We must work together. I, I love them. And for people who love pandas, I know a lot of people like certain animals. And uh, pandas have always been a favorite of mine. Pandas and polar bears I've always thought were so cute. Because I like teddy bears. So, they, you know, they're the, the toy version of them. So, I've always liked bears. So, if you like bears like I do, you'll really get a kick out of these. Now, he has the bamboo behind him. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of bamboo going on here. He has the bamboo, he or she. So that's why I was saying, as you can see, you can really use these with anybody. I don't think I have one client, unless you have a client that has an irrational fear of pandas, I don't think it's one client I have who would not enjoy these. I think all my clients would pretty much like these. Um, I have one friend who likes uh, decks that are more with people. I was mentioning that about the animals. So some people do mention that. But... I think that you know the majority of most people will see the cuteness in this, the sweetness in this, um, the good mood in this. We were talking the other day about good mood decks, and we were all making uh, video responses about good mood decks. And this is definitely a feel-good, good mood deck. Now, this is interesting because... This card is not in traditional tarot. So we're going to have to look that baby up. Imagination Station. All right, so we're going to find the guidebook. I'll put it to the side and see if they give us a meaning for Imagination Station. Uh, I don't see why. The world is the last card. Nope, I don't see it. So that's actually kind of interesting. I'm going to keep looking for it. Maybe I missed it. Because I'm thinking that I could probably use this. Oh, here we go. Found it. Because I was just thinking, I'll make something up. Don't play with me. <laughs> it's a wild card right here. It's in the end of the book. And it tells you exactly what it means. There you go. Because I was just thinking, don't, don't I'll make something up. This card will be, I'll just say it's about imagination. Using your imagination for manifestation. Okay, so exactly what I was going to make up <laughs> is, what it is, is actually what it is. Okay, cool. So I hit that one. Um, this is a beautiful deck. This is beautiful, it's colorful, I love it. Um, I think it's gonna be easy to use, easy to shuffle. Um, I think that the majority of most people are going to love it. Um, I think it's an awesome uh, addition to any collection. Um, I also think that uh, beginners will be able to use this deck. Um, seasoned readers will be able to use this deck. Um, intuitive readers will be able to use this deck because it's very like the the faces of the pandas and what they're doing in their body language shows you exactly what's going on so i feel like basically 
Anybody in the collective can use this deck. It's an awesome contribution. And again, I give it a 10 out of 10. I would like to thank the way of the panda. Um, Kimberly is her name. And Tassan. Uh, and Celia Libel is the illustrator. So I would like to thank them. Let me, let me show you their names. Right there. And I would like to thank them for sending over this adorable deck. And if any of you guys want to get it, please check underneath this video for the link directly to it. And I'll put any other pertinent information if I find anything else I think you need to know. Thank you guys for checking out my video. And please come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.